went and stayed at an Airbnb out on the coast of British Columbia one year. And it was this nice little cabin perched on the shore of this idyllic island. And the people who owned the place were from Europe and they were back to the land types, the 1990s equivalent of hippies. And they mm. believed that everyone would be better off if they were self-sufficient and that they would be more psychologically healthy if they returned to the land. Well, they were trying to be self-sufficient, but to raise their own chickens and plant their own vegetables and so forth. And what they soon discovered was that that was unbelievably difficult, that they were struggling every second to stay afloat financially and that being self-sufficient, especially on an island, which is a place that poses its own complications, especially in a harsh climate, they were completely trapped and they couldn't sell their property for anything near the market value that they had purchased it for. And so their move back to the land was a complete bloody catastrophe. Well, I want to tell that story because we have these romantic notions, you know, that we should all be self-sufficient and that everyone would be better off individually, in their family, in their town, in their estates, if we're self-sufficient. But there's a different idea, which is that we're better off trading with someone, even if we're better at everything we do than they are at anything they do.